What's up game devs? Thanks for checking out my tutorial on adding the action adventure movement system to a basic third person sample project. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have the skills to add AAMS to any Unreal project. Let's dive in. Setting up the project. To start, open the project you'll be integrating AAMS into and go to project settings. Navigate to the collision tab and add the three required trace channels for AAMS. Set their default responses to ignore. Vine wall. Movement. Ledge. Next, go to the Physics tab and add the physical surfaces used by the Footsteps component. Grass Dirt Gravel Stone Snow Wood Water Metal And Mud Open the Plugin Manager And enable the Animation Warping and Motion Warping plugins Once done Close the project. Migrating AAMS. Using the Epic Launcher, locate Action Adventure Movement System in your vault and create a project with the same Unreal version as your project. Open the AAMS project and migrate the entire AA Movement System folder into your project's content folder. Once migration is complete, close the AMS project and open your own project. Open your character blueprint, your animation blueprint, and the example character BP and locomotion ABP from AAMS. Verify the collision channels weren't disrupted during migration. Open DT collision channels and check that all rows have the correct settings. In your character, BP, add the motion warping and physical animation components.
add the BPI AAM's player interface and compile. Copy the red commented section from the example character BP and paste it into your BP. Update the timeline references. Replace the references to rotate timeline with the new timeline name if needed. Right click on the current rot and actor component variables you pasted and select create variable for both. If you do not already have input actions set up in your BP, you can use the AAMSIMC. Otherwise, use your own and your own input actions. Since I am using my inputs, I will be deleting the existing inputs and pasting from the example character's BP. Now add the AAMS actor components to your BP. You do not need to add them all, but you do need to add the state component, and you either need to add the interact component or add its initiate interact call to your interaction system. Copy the input events from the example character BP into your BP. You can use simple keys for the example setup or create your own input actions. setting up the animation blueprint. Now open your ABP and add the two interfaces, 
AAMS, Animation Layers, and BPI AAMS, Anim BP. Compile. Now we will need to retarget all of the animations to your character. Right click on an animation and select retarget animations. In the retarget window, select all of the ABPs and animation montages and retarget them to your skeleton. Check Use Source Path to keep the animations organized. Make sure Include Reference Assets is checked. In your ABP, prep the Anim graph by making sure you are using saved cache poses and making room for the new nodes to be pasted. Copy all of the nodes in the example ABP and paste them into your ABP Anim graph. The pasted linked Anim graphs will not work for your skeleton and will need to be replaced. Right click and search for each linked anim graphs that are in the example ABP. Action layer, adventure layer, swim layer, and climb layer. Copy the interface events graph from the original example ABP, not the retargeted version, and paste it into your ABP. Make sure the events are interface events, not custom events. Next right click on all of the pasted variables and select create variables.
you are using both FPP and TPP, you will need to copy and paste the camera perspective binding event. If you aren't using both FPP and TPP, you can skip that step. Copy and paste all functions from the example ABP into your ABP. Update pasted variables to create new ones as needed. Set default values for max turn and place angle, 45. And backwards direction, 180. Now that all of the variables have been added to your ABP, you can go through the linked graphs and bind the variables to the new variable of the same names.
override the blueprint thread safe update animation function. Copy the contents of the example ABP's thread safe function and paste them into your new function. Remove the event blueprint update animation node from the event graph unless it's setting other variables. Copy the animation layer nodes from the example ABP to your ABP. you are having mesh deformation issues when crouching or your character now has a giant head, you will need to open all of the aim offset used in the ABP and locate the individual AO animations and read the additive animation. You can select them all and edit them at once via the edit selection in property matrix. Select Mesh Space, Selected Animation Frame, and set the same additive animation used in the examples. Do the same thing for all aim offsets used. Adjusting effects and additional components. Most effects can be updated in the details panel of their respective actor components. For example, in the action component, you can adjust double jump effects under the FX dropdown.
When adding a ladder, use the stick figure icon to set the height location. The stick figure should be standing on the surface. If you are having an issue where your character continues to slide, you will need to make sure can crouch is checked to true in your character BP.